what's in here. Little pack and play. I like this one because people dump a lot of their household stuff in here from like when they're moving. This seems to be a bunch of trash. I'm not going to go. I don't think I'm going to go through any of this. And the five below is right there. But guys, I don't like taking five below. It's always broken. Um, sorry. It's always broken. And I can't even get this stuff away. So, okay, I'm off to my favorite craft store. Oh yeah, it is 40 degrees, feels like 35 temperature, or the chill temperature. Um, feels like 25. Oh, it's crazy out here. Okay guys, so I've been coming here for a long time. And why I've never seen these, or maybe because the one side is locked. I don't know what store, I think this is TJ, no, Ross. This is Ross, but there's nothing. And those you can't get into. Okay, guys. Nope, it's all trash still. Just trash. Let me look over here. Hmm, that big box could be something. What does that say? Ten of something. I have to go get. I saw a truck parked there in the dumpster. One. So this would be a blast. Look at all this. But number one, I don't want that, and I can't get in there. I would love. Those are my favorite oranges. If I could climb in there and had somebody with me, I'd probably do it. Hey guys, it's Tina, your treasure hunter here. It is. Um, as I told you, it's a really cold night. The areas I usually go to first around me are, there's nothing going on there. Um, so I went to a town. I'm going to go to Ulta and a liquor store. They're about 20 minutes from where I live. Um, and I could go north where there are a ton of department stores and just really cool places I could pick at. But there's a lot of day workers, a lot of homeless people in that area. Not, I mean, it's getting to the point I don't want to go there during the daytime to shop anymore. So I certainly won't go there tonight, but I'm going to go here and look. Um, I've only found a few It Cosmetic brushes. Um, when I was picking at the up in a totally different direction, when I was going through dumpsters there last night, I noticed an Ulta dump or a dumpster I had not seen before. Um, I've, I mean, I've only been there three or four times. So I went into that one and it's an Ulta dumpster. I didn't find anything, um, but I'll go back there maybe tonight, um, maybe tomorrow. The one last night, there's a store closing down and they have one of those huge, whatever, 10 yard, whatever it is, roll off dumpsters that they're, they're just filling up. And I found heavy duty, um, storage containers with lids and then the smaller container with the flaps that flap over um storage containers i found all kinds of cool stuff there but i didn't really get i only got two of the bins and today i'm thinking i need that for all my christmas stuff so when i store it back in the attic so i'm gonna go get some more of those either tonight or tomorrow either one anyway i'll be there in a minute okay so this is the ultra one I may not be able, and I've got to watch around here too because this is not, sorry guys, this is not the best of neighborhoods either. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right guys, I'm going to put this down and see if I can find anything in all of this. I was thinking maybe Alto would dump in here. It's, right, it's closer to actually than what their other dumpsters are, but I guess not. Um, someone had left, had been to the Ulta dumpster before I got there, and they left a huge mess. So now I'm off to Joanne's. Let's see if there's anything there. Okay, so there's a few of them over here. I'm not quite sure which one is. Yeah, this is definitely Joanne's. 
Oh, that trash is nasty, but there's also restaurants. Oh, this is nasty. Wow. Some scrapper would be in love. Wowza, wowza, wowza. That's crazy. This is also Sprint or AT&T, one of them. I would love... Oh, no, 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 it's a cable company. Yeah, it's a, I'll say I'd love to find some phone cables in here, but that's crazy. Okay. Remotes, I'll take those. I heard you can get money for them. Let's see. Empty. Joanne's. More coax cable. Okay, guys, over here is a liquor store. Now, the liquor stores, of course, I was excited. I was hoping I could find like bottles they had thrown away. Oh, wait. What's in here? Nothing. I was hoping that didn't happen. Although I did find a bunch of liquor once. They were the little mini bottles. Um always gotta look for homeless. Um more coax cables. Wow. See there's restaurants over here too. Up. Okay guys, I'm here at PetSmart and I just found, I'll pick that up in a minute. I just found a bunch of dog biscuits. Oh, I don't know that. I'm just gonna throw them over here, or not dog biscuits, but dog bones. They broke them up, but that's okay. I don't know what all this is, and it may even be stuff I don't give my dogs. So. Sorry guys, I know I'm all over the place with the camera. It's probably making you sick. Ah, dog bed. So this is a place I found several weeks ago. Ah, I may not be able to get that dog bed out. Um, poo, dog poo. Okay guys, I'm gonna shut off this so I can get this out. Okay guys, I am at, oh what's in the come Staples. I've already, oh man. I just knew it was, this was gonna be a good Cause I saw this not knowing what that was. I already have my little ladder. And I'll show you what else I got. I gotta put this back anyway. Just somehow secure it before I go down the highway. dry erase board. It's a big one. Oh, I didn't get the pet bed out of the pet's store um, dumpster. I, I just couldn't pull it out. Okay, guys, I'm super duper embarrassed. I sit here in my car talking away to myself as if I have the camera going. I think I have a developing not such a good habit. I'll start. Oh, some sort of bed. Um, this is so much trash. Kirkland's. Um, there is a. Oh, there is stuff in here. I think I might have to climb in here. Oh, clothes hangers. I might climb in here and see what's in here. Hey guys, oh, I already put it back here. Um, show you what I'm getting. I found a box of jewelry, costume stuff. I don't know if it's something people are throwing away or if this is from a store. 
it's personal stuff. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Alright, going in my car. Now these are actually my favorite finds. I love when people put... I'm sorry guys, it's hard to do this all the... I love when people put their personal items, especially stuff that I can use. I'll try to edit this so it's not so sickening. Let's see if there's any more cool stuff. I mean, I just don't really send out cards. And my husband kills me for bringing home all kinds of crap I don't need. We don't need. But I do like those Christmas ones, I think. Kill my back. I almost dropped my phone earlier, guys. That would not have been fun. Uh oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm not keeping this. It has all this personal information on it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm out of here. I think. I don't think there's anything else I could really do. Uh, actually, you know what? This could go. Remember, I just got hundreds of. Oh, I don't want this. I just got hundreds, not hundreds. <laughs> I told you guys I exaggerate everything. I just got, see my sleeping bag I found? It's brand new. Didn't have tags on it, but you can tell it's never been used. I've had it for weeks in here. I ran into a homeless guy in my town, and in my town we don't really, I know I'm making y'all sick. In my town, we don't really have homeless people. So, there's not really resources whatsoever for homeless in my town. And so, um, I'm going, I have it here for him. I have several sleeping bags for my family at home. And so, I have it for him along with the bag of goodies if I ever come across him. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay guys, I'm at another natural grocery store. Some good boxes. Yeah, it looks like that's all there is, is boxes. Don't worry, I'll pick that up. Man, I was hoping there would be like boxes with fruit in it. I know I watch these videos of these people that are so blessed. I think it's church in Indiana or Illinois, something like that. And he goes out a couple of times a week and finds all of these boxes of bananas. I mean, man, I, I would go bananas for that. Um, and I always leave. I just can't. Um, and I'll have a reveal when I get home on the jewelry box to see if there was anything valuable in it or not. Um, we'll see. Gotta lock my doors. And ladies, for those of you who say that you never, you're too afraid to go on your own, I'm out here all the time at night by myself. I do go during the day. But the ones that I get like my best stuff from, I don't go there during the day, typically, because I'm afraid they'll catch me. 
Um, but I think they've caught on to the fact that I do dive in their dumpsters. So anyway, get out there and do it. Do it during the day. Do it in the evening. Go by yourself. There are neighborhoods I could go to that I do not go to because I know it's not safe. This one I'm not super sure about. This is a very ritzy neighborhood. Um, all the homes around me, I don't think you can get a home anywhere around here under 300000 And outside of Dallas area, that's... that. that Okay, guys. Yeah, my garage. I have all the flowers boxed up. I'm gonna take them to my storage till next spring in March. I can have a garage sale. Stuff from TJ, no, where was it from? Burks, Bells, I don't know, but that's a gorgeous lantern. Those are two giant Santas. I showed you that stuff already. The mirrored candlesticks are in my house. And here's more. Dog beds from PetSmart. Here's all the Thanksgiving stuff. These are the totes I got from the store that shut, that's closing out. They have lids, I didn't grab the lids, but I'm going to go back and get the lids tomorrow. Okay, back to the good stuff. I wanted to unbox this with you guys once I take it inside. Okay, so that's the stuff from PetSmart. I don't even know what it is. Let me see, what is this? Come on, my fingers hurt. Beef trachea, oh yeah, I give, the, I give beef lungs to my dogs all the time from Dollar Tree if you've not tried it. It's just a beef lung. There's no additives, preservatives, anything in it. It's as, and it's, I think it's free, it's, it's not freeze dried. I think it's um, dehydrated. My dogs go bonkers over, and it's, it's great for them. This is a cutlet. So yeah, so my dogs, I don't give them pig ears. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not, I'll see. Anyway, okay. Oh, come on. Okay, these books I don't care about. Sorry guys, I'm not paying attention. Air mattress. I might be able to sell that. I should have on gloves as I'm doing this. Probably nothing. Ooh, guys, that's pretty. Nordic house. The jewelry. That, yep, that's costume. Costume. Oh, that's costume. I was hoping since they did have jewelry bags. Sorry, guys. Since they did have jewelry bags, that this stuff would be worth something. But it's not. I mean, I keep my really nice stuff in a jewelry bag. My costume jewelry, not so much. Okay, so when we were babies, I have to check into this. When we were babies in the 60s, like late, yeah, I was born in 64. So in the 60s, it was huge to have your baby shoes turned into bronze. And, I mean, everyone had those. I wish we still had ours. Yeah, this is just like junk. I should throw it away for a reason. But I'll continue going through here. I'll separate it all out. I'll continue going through here and see if there's anything that's real. If there is, I'll, I'll turn the camera back on.